The space adaptation of Stirling cycle power conversion is based on the free piston configuration in which a displacer and power piston oscillate in a pressurized cylinder containing helium. Thermal energy is introduced to the cycle at the heater head, waste heat is removed from the cooler, and a regenerator is used to store and transfer thermal energy during each cycle to improve efficiency. The power piston is coupled to a permanent magnet linear alternator to convert linear motion to electric power. The engine and linear alternator are integrated into a single assembly and housed in a hermetically sealed pressure vessel. The operating frequency is generally fixed, and an external electrical controller regulates the piston stroke and converts the AC power output to DC as required by the load. Free piston Stirling converters maintain the proper phasing between displacer and piston via natural resonance, avoiding the need for linkages and hence reducing the number of moving parts. Modern converters have achieved up to 55% of Carnot efficiency. Okay, and you're here from Sunpower. Sunpower. And this is a commercial cogeneration unit that's distributed mostly in Europe then? Uh, it's going to be, there'll be a commercial launch in 2007. Oh, awesome. So it's coming on the market then. Right. Well, can you tell me a little bit about what exactly it does? Um, most homes in, in Western Europe are, are heated with, 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 with a natural gas fired boiler that mounts in on a kitchen cabinet. Oh, somebody's, okay. Somebody's home. Um, this appliance replaces that conventional boiler, performs the same function as the, as the boiler. And there's a free piston Stirling engine in here, made under license from SunPower, that also produces a kilowatt of electricity. Ah, okay. And, it, and, and sort of one of the key features of a Stirling engine, there are a few. One is it can, it can use natural gas to make power. The other is it's quiet enough and, and low enough vibration that it can actually run in in somebody's kitchen. Oh, sure, and sure. It has sort of the, and, and there's no maintenance, it has sort of the reliability of, of a refrigerator rather than, you know, okay. we, we have a partner in, in the UK called Microgen that are actually introducing this product. Oh, so this this will be coming out through Microgen. Well, uh, if customers wanted to look for this, what would the, again, the primary application would be if they're using natural gas? To domestic domestic cogeneration is what is what the application is called. Oh, okay, awesome. Combined, it's com cogeneration is combined heat and power, so it Here heats, it, it, it makes hot water for heat, for, for radiative, radiation type heat, um, it also heats water for bathing and cooking, um, and then it makes a kilowatt of electricity at the same time. Oh wow, so it's kind of a multi-function unit then. Right. Okay, right. awesome, and uh, I guess they can learn more about though, this is a very green device right. then also. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Yep. Okay, well thanks again. No problem. Thank you.